Hey guys, coming at you with another video on this Wednesday morning. I told you I'd pump out a few more videos, but I know I talked about head pressure in a doctor's video, or I titled it, but I didn't really talk about head pressure. It's just kind of the ongoing theme. And I think I want to discuss, you know, why, why may one individual develop anxiety, head pressure, um, and what can make it worse, what can make it better, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I don't think I've really, really acquired, I've talked about that specifically. Uh, I talked about this a lot, this topic a lot, but I wanted to bring it to the forefront um, because it's one of the main things I talk about. So number one reason, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, I'm not a doctor kind of thing, but although <laughs> more research I do, I could probably be a better doctor than a lot of people. That's just me saying that. Who knows? So number one reason, in my opinion, in modern day is because of poor posture. Over time from even like right now, I'm in a good posture, but most of the time I'm like this and, you know, head going forward, all that kind of stuff I've already talked about, but each inch that goes forward, 22 pounds of pressure, 33 for two inches, like 40 pounds, like 40 pounds for reference. I don't really have even a reference because that's so heavy. I'd have to pick up this whole desk and that's just weighing down on your head. That's just three inches. Three inches is like that. And that would look absolutely awful, but it, you've seen people with absolutely awful hunch necks. So what we want to do is we want to maintain the natural curvature of the spine. See how it goes like this. And the problem is, is over time, it becomes more straight and what that does is it causes a lot of strain on the muscles here. There's muscles in the front. The suboccipitals are the main huge muscles that come all the way down in the shoulders. This causes rounding of the shoulders. This causes um, chest muscles to just be fatigued, um, back muscles to be fatigued. And over time, there's muscles that get stronger because they have to resist, but there's also muscles that get weaker and weaker as you don't use them and they become more out of place as the head goes further and further down. Now, what's the solutions here? You can do massage therapy and chiropractic, but the problem is, and what I'm finding through the years of doing it, if I just do it, you know, and I'm strength or I'm, I'm just putting it back together, getting adjustment, but I'm not actually strengthening the muscles and stretching the muscles that need to be stronger, it's going to make it even worse. And why I think it's that, and that's the case is because a massage, you know, loosens a lot of the muscles. Chiropractor adjusts you back to normal. Well, it loosens the muscles up that have been tight and holding your body in place. So it's just going to, it's going to, it's just going to make it worse to be honest. So what's the step beyond that? So if you're going to do that, I think chiropractic and massage is great. But the next step I want to take is physical therapy. Or if you're good enough, dedicated exercises like chin tucks and stretches and stuff for your shoulder blades, chest, pecs, neck muscles. There's many of them you can do on YouTube if you just look at them. But I'm going to do physical therapy because it does one thing that is really, really difficult for a lot of us. Some can do it and it's discipline. If you are disciplined and able to pretty much force to be able to do that, then there's a much higher chance to see success. And that's why I wanted to do physical therapy because it keeps me accountable. I'm gonna go on Friday, I'm gonna send an update on that. But that is, I think, the number one reason for uh, head pressure, especially um, because over time, when the muscles are so stretched and stuff, it can cause a lot of pain in the neck and it radiates up into the head. People have bands around here. They have typically pain here. This is just me though. Other people have had, they sometimes have tingling in the face. And so I've, oh, that feels so good. Um, they'll also feel uh, like right, right here, like right above the eyes. Um, I've also, yeah, jaw pain, uh, and then really radiates in the neck. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but that is definitely one of the main reasons. And you know, solutions, you know, get off your phone, focus on your posture, be more active, you know, be conscientious. We're sitting in a desk for eight hours. You need to text it. The, the rule of thumb, I think, is 20-20-20, where it's 
up for 20, sit for 20, and like move around for 20. Um, and like that, that's a huge principle. Most people don't have standing desks, but hopefully over time, a lot more people will. Um, and so second option, second reason why is um, technology. I blame it on technology for heightened stress, um, phone usage, stuff like that. Obviously, it goes hand in hand with the head pressure of um, poor posture. But technology really does stress us out. It really, really does. Um, we are addicted to technology. We are addicted to our phones. Um, and and it, it's, it is very harmful. I'm going to be straight up. It is very harmful. Um, and because I experience it firsthand, how anxious I am, um, whether it's playing video games, whether it's, um, and, and maybe I have a poor stress tolerance, but I've been able to do this for, you know, I grew up playing video games. I grew up using my phone and it probably took around four or five years. And then those panic attacks and stuff really set in where my body was like, this is enough. Like we are doing this way too much. We're on our phones way too much. Um, we're playing way too many video games. And where our bodies aren't meant, our, our minds cannot process that kind of stuff. That stuff, that instant stuff. And maybe eventually we will in thousands of years evolve. And we probably will. But right now we're not evolved to do that kind of stuff. Our minds cannot take that stuff. Um, so we can just slow things down. And, you know, when you really look at it, do you really need your phone? That's the big question I ask myself. Do I really need to look at my phone? Do I really need these social media apps? Do I really need these uh, people, you know, that... Uh, do I need, really need these... Sorry, I spaced it. Do I really need social media apps? Do I really need these dating apps? Do I really need to be playing these games on these phones? No, they're all pointless. They're all a waste of time. And once that reality really sets in, it's just like an addiction to anything else. Um, you know... As far as like pop and stuff goes, yes, it was so hard. Sugar has been really hard. Same thing with dating apps or Instagram, social media and stuff like that. Like it was fun. I, I kind of enjoyed it, but then I realized I didn't, I, it didn't really give me that much of a benefit. It gave me a short term boost, that dopamine hit. And then beyond that, it was just like, yeah, it's really not like, great. I don't really care. Plus, especially considering how toxic social media is. If, if anyone doesn't see that now, I, I don't know what to say. I think it's completely biased. Um, people know my political opinions, but regardless, I just, I think it's a toxic cesspool of garbage. So I've just completely blocked that out. Final thing is, is um, the, the third thing and, and kind of the top three, um, I would say it's just poor life habits in general, whether that's diet, you know, exercise, stuff like that, being active, the active and conscientious, it's just out the door. You know, we are so dependent on the food pyramid of processed foods, processed sugars, carbohydrates, all that kind of stuff that is literally killing us day by day. And it's causing a lot of inflammation, a lot of problems. And I, and I guess I'll go back to the, the, the steps of, uh, how to eliminate from uh, phone usage and technology, just stop using it. And I even read a book, How to Break Up With Your Phone. There's resources that you can use to do it. You don't have to get rid of it completely, but I definitely look at the reality because at the end of the day, I was looking at my phone, picking it up 300 times a day and eight hours a day. That is way too much time. Anyways, processed sugars and diets, they are terrible for you. They are absolutely terrible for you. Um, and, and we are not active at all. I was talking with my doctor, 67% of Americans are overweight. 67, two of three. That means more people are overweight than I And I've definitely seen that huge shift. I've talked about body, body positivity before and I won't talk about it too much because it will get me um, demonetized. But the fact of the matter is, is being overweight is extremely unhealthy. And I don't care who you are, who it is and stuff like that. And I don't take the excuse of, well, I have a condition. Well, that condition came from doing things over time. We're going to be a little bit harsh here. My condition too is the same thing to a certain extent, but it's poor habits. I don't finish my food. I just over time I, and I don't eat enough food. Same thing with developing metabolic 
resistance and insulin resistance. You ate so poorly for so many years that you developed a condition and it makes it very hard to reverse. Well, of course it does because you did it for so many years to build up to it. So it's not necessarily your body's condition. It's not your body's fault. It was your fault for creating all these problems in the first place. Um, and I would really take a step back and look at your diet. And I'm not saying go keto. I'm not saying, you know, go vegan. I, I don't prescribe the vegan diet. I would definitely prescribe more of a keto diet. That taking out just processed sugars and processed carbohydrates are two steps to make you feel way better because that in turn will help you with sleep, with diet, with activity with mental health with all those things those are those go hand in hand and for head pressure and stuff when you get inflammation that builds up and fat that builds up over time it makes it harder for for blood to rush to the brain and stuff like that it makes it harder for you to be more mobile you become tighter and tighter because everything is constricted it becomes more and more constricted over time and it, it, it causes more pain, more problems, and you think that it becomes more severe and severe because the pain, this will, this is what really will make it worse over time, is if you continue to do it poorly and treating your body poorly, it will have compounding effects. And then on the exercise component, we do not, we are not active whatsoever. When you get up and you are active, that literally releases dopamine in your body. What do we do all day? We sit on our butts, we don't do much, and we're just not very active. And, and, and it's just, it compounds over time. And, and I, I tell you, it's, it's a much more fulfilling lifestyle. It, it may suck to get up and exercise initially, but man, I've taken a daily walk now for three weeks. The first week I just got through it. I enjoy that walk. I look forward to that walk because it makes me feel good. I'm out in nature and I'm doing something that I know will benefit me. That I know over time, will reap, I'll reap the benefits from that. So, you know, I know it can be a pain, but you have, you have to push through. I know the food doesn't always taste good, but you can, you can make quality foods, meats and stuff. And I'm not saying completely banish it. I treat myself all the time. I'm not some intermediate faster, healthy keto. Like, like I definitely do have my carbs because I need to gain a little bit of weight. But I mean, I am definitely way more strict on candy, snacking, and processed carbs. Those are the three things I would say are the big things. Don't snack, take out the sugars, take out the carbs. And I'll leave it at that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I really appreciate the feedback from the last video, but I'll start banging out more. This will be the top three reasons that cause anxiety, head pressure. So everybody, peace.